Hi, it's Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. This video is about iodine. So I wrote an article on my blog a while ago called The Fountain of Youth, or at least the closest we have to it, talking about iodine. I think it's one of the smartest nutrients, like the nutrient itself provides incredible intelligence to humans. It also increases physical strength and endurance. It's really pretty amazing. Every single cell in the body needs it, especially the thyroid. Okay, so iodine was uh, discovered in the early 1800s, and then in the 1820s, there was a guy named Dr. Lugol who figured out the correct dose per day is 12.5 milligrams is what everybody needs. And there's a certain ratio of iodine versus iodide. And so when you see a product online called Lugol Solution, hopefully it's correct. It's got, for example, 12.5 milligrams per dose. Okay, it was the first Western medicine, so they gave it to people with goiter. The thyroids got bigger, and the thyroid is looking for iodine. It actually swells up. So you give them the pill or the, or the liquid iodine for the symptom, and that's what Western medicine is. You got a symptom, pill. Symptom, pill, simpleton, pill. So you get what I'm saying, as opposed to trying to find the cause. So iodine deficiency, though, is a cause for a lot of symptoms currently. And I think it's pretty well ignored by medicine, and, uh, but there's urine tests you can do to identify iodine deficiency. Um, every cell needs it, and it'll detoxify aluminum, mercury, chlorine, bromine, uh, cl um, bromide, fluorine, fluoride. Those are all toxins. Let's not forget the fluorine and the fluoride. Okay, so when you look at the um, periodic table of the elements from chemistry, and you look all the way to the right, the second column from the right is the halides. And you got bromine in there, you got fluorine, chlorine, you got iodine. So iodine is the nutrient. The other three are toxic. And they're used as antibiotics. They're used as pesticides. And they're basically used as poisons. So if you don't have enough iodine in your body, and you're exposed to flame retardant, that's bromine, your body will take in the bromine and use it as if it were iodine. Why? Because they're all in the same column in that table, and what that means is they all, have, all those elements have the same number of electrons on the outer shell. Now we're talking a little chemistry here, a little physics. And so the body says, oh look, there's eight electrons in the outer shell of that fluorine. We're going to use it as if it's iodine. So, that's, so when you start taking in the iodine, your body says, oh, that's the real deal. Let's push out the, the bromine, fluorine, bromide chlorine, etc., and aluminum and mercury. So you can get some side effects of this, <clears throat> of this detoxification. And the main side effect I've seen in my patients is uh, itchy skin. So just picture the thyroid's right here, and the itching is usually between here and here, and this, the thyroid is the center of it. So I personally, over the course of a few months, increased my dose from 12.5 milligrams of iodine to 56 milligrams every two weeks I increased my dose by six milligrams and um, my main symptom when I started detoxing too fast was I would pull on my ears they were itchy and sort of red other people would itch their scalp uh, one person itched their legs but most of the time it's right here or right here okay so if your itching is too much just cut back and give it a few more weeks and then try to increase the dose again now if you talk to anybody They'll usually say, oh, you're allergic to iodine. No, nobody's allergic to iodine. You might be allergic to the protein that iodine is attached to. So look at the ingredients and see what is it attached to. Um, or it could be that you're just detoxifying. And most people have some sort of a detox symptom when they take the higher amounts of iodine into their body. Okay, so other symptoms could be like a racing heart. I remember one day I was driving down the road and I just was, start, was just sweating. So it increases your metabolism, it increases your heat. And so I cut back on, you know, for a couple weeks from just from excess sweating. Um, another thing is you can get too much energy, believe it or not. You might be tired because you're iodine deficient. So um, that's why you can only take iodine in the morning and no later than lunchtime. So don't take it past 12 noon or 1 o'clock. 
Because if you take it at dinner time, it might keep you awake. So there, there's been three winter, winters here in Michigan where I took high doses of iodine every day to stay warm at night. And uh, I kept my house really cold. And, uh, and it was an experiment. And it was pretty incredible how iodine kept me warm. But also, too, I only slept six hours every single night for three winters. Because I didn't need eight hours. And I had good energy all day during the day. So, um, if you want more information, you can check out Dr. David Brownstein. He's a, actually a medical doctor not too far from my office. He's about a half hour from my office. I call him the modern pioneer in iodine research. And he's got books. He's got a website. Just search his name online. You'll find it. All right, if you like this information, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.